Right guys, welcome back to my next video. I'm gonna be going through our iPhone application or indeed their Android application as well, known as Sweatcoin. Now does Sweatcoin make you money or give you rewards for just by walking? Yes, walking guys. I'm gonna be going through that shortly. Keep tuned and let's get started. Right guys, welcome back to my video. Sorry for the delay in uh, uploading a video uh, this week. Actually, I think I've missed out a week, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll be back on track soon. I just had some things that came up. But for the purpose of this video today, uh, I'm gonna be going through an app called uh, Sweatcoin. Now, I don't know if there's gonna be any point of actually showing it on the telephone because it, nothing really ever appears, but for the purpose, wait, well, let me see. So it pretty much looks like this type of icon on your app. There you go, you can see it, so that's really good. Uh, it's available on both the iPhone, the Apple Store, or the Android Store. And essentially the premise behind Sweatcoin app is if you do walking, you can get uh, points and those points you can get money from or you can get rewards from. Initially it was money but I'm going to be going through it. It's changed a little bit in that respect. Um, so yeah, that the points equal to getting rewards essentially. And I said, I've been using this. Um, I'm going to check for you guys. I'll provide you an accurate date. Uh, since the 4th of June 2019 so it's been it's gonna be nearly uh, two years and around five months so I've been using it for a while so that's why I can provide you a better feedback or a better review in my respect for this specific app and the reason why I thought I'd do a review regarding walking apps with the COVID situation going on it's a fantastic way at the moment to uh, basically well, you can get rewards, but at the same time, keep your own health in check by going out there, walking. Um, you know, obviously, due to this COVID situation, you need to stay healthy. Walking's a fantastic means to keep healthy, especially with the gyms closed. And there's loads of apps out there which will provide you cash or rewards. Uh, Sweatcoin is something I personally have been using for a while. Hans, I can recommend it for you guys. And if you do go on to the Apple Store, <coughs> Sorry about that guys, It's uh, it's got 32,000 reviews and pretty much near enough to uh, five star. So if I put this on the chart of health and fitness app, it ranks 55, which is not too, I mean, it's not at the top, but uh, 32,000 uh, stars and close enough to five is never too bad in my book. So if I show you this here, uh, so it says this one, right there and then if I go into it yeah uh, yeah 32,000 yeah it's not going to come off clear so if I get started with this app I've essentially I've given you a brief explanation already in terms of what Sweatcoin is um, I pretty much used it every day all right so we're going to be going through this app uh, so you can see this is how it looks like I'm gonna be breaking it down a bit by bit uh, just to alert you at the forefront guys unfortunately this app cannot be linked to your Fitbit application or your Apple watch so if you do leave your phone at home for instance and you go for a walk and uh, you inherently just have your Fitbit or your Apple watch on uh, those points have not been calculated which is pretty unfortunate um, and you do have to be walking outside that's what they say you have to be walking outside so it can generate those points for you but I've noticed even walking indoors it does actually generate those points into sweat coin points so I guess that's a bonus in that respect uh, but that's something that you guys should be aware of now <coughs> if I go on the first page of this app so you've got uh, essentially five tabs here as you can see on this app right at the bottom one two three four five so we're, we're on the first tab guys so if you guys do want to download it i'll go through it briefly so you can understand exactly what it's about so on the first page right here <coughs> you have your offers so any points you do generate uh via this app um, you can utilize those to basically if there's an offer you're interested in for example like there's offers here on the first page 
you can have like say a 60 day membership of daily burn and um, you can claim that Pacific one for free and there's other ones where you can um, there's quite a few here sorry I'm just trying to select one for this purpose um, which one shall I choose which one shall I choose uh, I'm just gonna choose this one so we have this one here zero plastic shampoo bar uh, from a company called groom and uh, let's see what the offer is here so you can buy this for 25 sweat coins. So if you have 25 sweat coins, you can actually buy this specific product. Uh, and alternative occasions, it may be a case they have a pair of sunglasses, they have a pair of expensive accessories. Uh, with your points, they would specify the points required. Say, uh, if you give us 100 points, we'll give you 70% off this uh, pretty expensive product. So on the whole, that isn't bad, that's pretty great. Um, that's if you've got the, the sweat coins. I'm hoping you have a good amount of sweat coins. Um, but yeah, you do need a, a bit of sweat coins there. So you've got your daily offers running right there, uh, which you exchange for your sweat coin points. And then if you keep moving, let me just see if you can see that, that was the offers, right? And then if you keep moving down, you can also uh, help charities as well. If you want to do a charitable cause, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, if you click on, say, served over 2,000 people clean water every day. If this is a charitable cause you would like to support, then you can actually give uh, your own sweat coin points, whatever you feel you want to. If you want to give 100, go ahead and give 100. If you want to give 200, go ahead and give 200, 50, so forth. You can choose. Um, but at the moment, you can see that they... Uh, I think it's 4,000, no, 4 million. People have given over 4 million to this specific cause. The goal, they've also noted, is 6 million. Uh, if, you know, you want to support a different cause here, keep families displaced by war, by war warm this winter. You can go for that cause. So I think that's incredible that, you know, you can use your points not just for yourself, but to also help others. And if you like, if you're one of those people that do like to do charitable causes, this is fantastic. Even myself, I, I like to uh, help several charities and I think this is a fantastic way to do that. So moving down from that, that's pretty much uh, covered for uh, the first page. So you have your offers, you have your charitable causes you can support. And then also you have a section right in the middle. This is on another page actually, but it's on here. It's a, a daily bonus points kind of, um, it's basically, you kind of click on the button here, yeah, for example, here. I say I click this play button, which you can see there's three there and it will show you an ad which is really short less than a minute and then it will throw a uh, spontaneous point at you as a reward for watching that ad so sometimes I've got cut just a couple of sweat coin points sometimes 50 sometimes 100 you can get up to a thousand so I would definitely not miss out on that every day just hit the the buttons there and get your points it would help your overall um, your overall sweat coin points increase so don't miss that guys all right moving on to the next one so essentially this basically displays how many sweat coin points you have and how many you are gaining every day generally by walking and also how many you're gaining by on that first page hitting the the play button and watch an ad so we'll show that uh, at the moment I have 5,288.24 uh, and I've already said to you that I started walking on June 2019 and um, to be fair I was I have been walking quite a lot I'm going to be honest some days I've walked actually majority of the days I walk 15,000 steps uh, on few occasions I walk over 20,000 steps and I'm a little bit disappointed that the step, uh, the sweat coin points is at this level. But I'm going to be going through this in a bit of detail as well in a bit. I'm just going to go through the tabs for the moment. So essentially that is the second tab. So your points score and what you gain through those buttons I showed you on the first page. Now moving on to the centre. So it shows you how many steps uh, it's calculated for you today, what you've done. Uh, that is 5,556 and then it shows you your highlights uh, so you can see your stats in terms of how active you have been. You just click the button there 
Moving on, uh, you can set your 2021 resolution. This is a new feature. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I never really follow through with my resolutions, but if you do, then go for it. Uh, another thing, guys, is uh, you can get, if you do another 20 minutes activity, whatever that is, walking, uh, running, and you click this button, uh, you do it as fast as you can, It will within those 20 minutes, whatever points you gather, uh, it will basically put those into your balance. So that's another one. It's, I know it's a bit odd, oddly placed. You would think it'd be on the first page with the other ones. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Important uh, feature here, guys, um, is... Actually, I just noticed they have the daily bonus... You know that play buttons I was showing you where you can watch the ad and get points? It's on this page as well, the third tab. Which is pretty odd, um, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then just above that, uh, it says, invite a friend and get five sweat coins. So inherently, what I do need to explain to you guys, I feel that for the amount of time I've utilized this app and walked, I, I thought I would have had over 10,000 by now. Um, but it's just, <coughs> I'm, I'm, it's really bad to say this, um, but essentially if you're just walking 10, 15, 20,000 steps every day, seven days a week, regardless of what Sweatcoin is saying, you it's going to be very hard for you to get closer to 20,000 Sweatcoin points. And inherently there's benefits there because you can enter auctions uh, for high uh, expensive products and bid on those auctions for those expensive products, but you're going to need in that region of points, uh, near, near enough 20,000 or above, because most people are bidding on, say, Dyson hair dryers or PlayStation 5, uh, 20,000 plus. Um, so the only way, what I'm trying to say is, walking isn't going to achieve the goal of getting too close enough for 20 sweat coin points unless you're doing a ridiculous amount of like marathon running and you're doing 20,000 plus steps a day seven days a week which majority of us do not have time to do if you're doing that then maybe you can reach it in two to three years otherwise I don't see it happening so the other way you can get higher sweat coin points is by inviting your friends to join this app and for every person you invite they get five sweat coin points so if for example if I get the calculator out here you invite um, all right I don't really need calculator for this but if you invite say um, 100 people, I'm just doing an example, you get 500 sweat coin points. So if you if you look at that, you've invited so many people, yet you've only got 500 sweat coin points. It's pretty disappointing, right? Um, it will take a huge amount of inviting people, a huge amount of ridiculous amount of exercise you would have to set time for every day to actually get close enough to uh, the 20,000 points. So, and I think that, yeah, I don't know if it would be beneficial in that sense. I mean, the other offers on the first page I showed, showed you, they're more realistic. But if you do want to go for the high-end products, then unfortunately it's going to be very difficult to attain that um, just by walking and recommending a few friends. Um, uh, it's just the way it is. I mean, I'm being very honest. It's going to be very difficult. Also highlight here you would see different packages. Shaker, Quaker, Breaker troublemaker <laughs> uh, essentially what these packages are in some shape or form the, the app is free to use however to get those points so say if I walk 10,000 or 15,000 steps every day and I get near enough to 13 to 14 sweat coin points you can't get above a certain number of sweat coin points unless you let them take points out from your account every month. So it's like an exchange. It's not like you're paying technically with cash, you're paying with your points. So for example, if you if you just wanna walk every day and get five sweat coin points, so that might just be like 30 minutes of walking, I'm just guessing, then you can just go for the first mover package, which is free. So you don't need to provide them with any points in exchange. However, if you move up to the shaker package and you give them, say, 10 of your sweat coin points every month, uh, which is probably about an hour of walking 
uh, every day, then you can uh, achieve up to 10 sweat coin points uh, every day via this app. So to achieve a certain level of sweat coin points by walking, you need to allocate yourself to one of these packages and every month pay out, they will automatically take it from your account, uh, whatever package you've gone for. So if you've gone for the biggest troublemaker package, which is 50 sweat coin points you can get from walking, uh, that would uh, cost you, actually this is the first time I've seen it, they actually charge you 99p per month, like uh, money from your bank account, that's actually new, uh, that's kind of caught me off guard, but if I downgrade, uh, the breaker package, you can get 20 sweat coin points and they take 30 sweat coin points from your account every month, so it's not really a great deal they take from your month because you can easily make uh, several hundred a month, but it's something that you should be aware of that they do take. Uh, the fourth tab is basically, it just brings up all your contacts and you can invite them. And the last tab is a, it's just basically, it's like a little, um, how do you say this? It just shows the package you're on at the moment. So I'm on the Quaker package here. Um, the, uh, the steps you've converted, which is over 3 million, near enough to four, you can say. And the, basically the walking you've done for that Pacific week. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much kind of wraps that up. And it just shows the date I joined right at the top. Uh, the 4th of June 2019. Yeah. I'll make you aware, when I joined this app initially, if you had get, what attracted me to this Sweat Coins app was, if you get 20,000 Sweat Coin points, you was able to exchange that for uh, products. So you don't need to go into an auction for the high-end products. Uh, it was basically a tab on the first page that would basically show that if you get 20,000 sweat coin points, you can exchange that for 1,000 pounds or uh, a, one, a really expensive television or an uh, expensive holiday abroad. They've taken those off. They've taken those off, which is really annoying because that's essentially what's attracted me to the sweat coin app. My aim was to walk 20,000, uh, sorry, gain 20,000 sweat coin points so I can convert that to a thousand pound cash. And that that's pretty much gone. Um, I was a bit annoyed when I noticed that. And also, <coughs> What they initially had at the forefront was any points you did gain. So say for example, I have 1000 points of sweat coin. You can just go on to, where do I go? Let me just show you. Uh, yeah, you could, so if I had like say 1000 there, you just go on to spend or pay out. I think it was pay out or claim or something like that. You click that button and you can, you can take that out for actual money and put it into your bank account, which is really good as well. They've removed that as well, which is very annoying. Again, they've done two, um, uh, things which really is kind of pissed me off. Um, but essentially when you click spend now, it just diverts you and pushes you back to the offers on the other page. It's not what it was before. Um, that you didn't need to go into an auction. If there was a PS5 or it was a television or you wanted 1,000 pound cash, you just needed to get the equivalent amount of sweat coin points and you exchange it and get that specific reward. Now you were just in a ridiculous auction where someone could just bid a couple of points more and you've lost it. Um, which I, I don't, I'm not fond of the new sweat coin system. I think it's just very sneaky what they've done now. And, um, yeah, for that reason, initially, yes, you could earn point, you could earn money at the at the beginning when Sweatcoin had started, um, and you could exchange that for the points. That's not the case now. Um, now it's I would say it's entirely based heavily on rewards, so you can get rewards in exchange for your points. So that that's pretty much a flawed system right there. Just to let you know, this is a predominantly an app based in the UK. Uh, I presume it is, I don't think people internationally can access Sweatcoin, uh, though you could double check. Um, but if you do want to look for a similar app that provides uh, similar features, just go on to, say, Google and um, type uh, earn money or reward for walking. Uh, do check out the reviews for the apps. Um, I personally just use this one, I'm familiar with it. It's a user-friendly interface, it's attractive and useful for what I need and for my purposes, so I've stuck to it. I have tried out another walking app uh, that was based in the UK, it was rubbish, it was just a complete waste of time. Um, Sweatcoin seems to be the longest one uh, going around and it's it's a reputable company, it's not one that's dodgy. Uh, there's quite 
quite a few out there that are extremely dodgy and you should be wary of um just to let you know how long they have been around for so they're not like one of those companies that have been trading for like a short period of time um and they don't really have any reputation behind them so uh sweat queen uh creation date or forming date i guess you can say uh when was it so 2016, so it's been around for four years now. So it's obviously been around for a specific reason. It's doing well and yeah, it, I guess it's trustworthy. But just to know some people, loads of people have hit the 20,000 sweat coin points and they've retrieved the bigger prizes. So yeah, it's definitely worthwhile if you do get to that point. But um, what I'm saying, it's not going to be easy. Um, and just to let you know, if I do... 15,000 off steps. So my, my sweat coin points stop at, I think it's, what is it, 18 sweat coin points? Uh, let's see. So I've got the Quaker package and that. Where is it gone? So, so yeah, mine stops at 15 sweat coin points. And to get the Swiss 15 sweat coin points, I need to walk uh, close enough to 15,000 steps a day and then that's it that maxes out and they basically like if you walk more you can't get any more points unless you upgrade so that's roughly how much that would attain for you uh would i recommend it that is the question right that's what you guys have stayed tuned for uh is it something that's a worthwhile recommendation is it something that if you go walking you can gain some good prizes some good rewards uh respectively i would say yes it is uh like i said before um it's not like it was before um would i recommend it yeah i would say it's a good app i wouldn't say it's bad at all um if you're going to go walking and you do want to get some extra prices and rewards and go for it this is actually a, a good option out there um and it's one i've tested and um, i can highly recommend but um just yeah just bear in mind that you if you're looking to get the high points it's going to be a bit tricky um yeah, so I hope that helps. Uh, that was my recommendation of Sweatcoin uh, app for the purposes of if you want to go out there and walk and get some rewards. Uh, I hope that has helped you guys or provided some sort of informative output in terms of this specific app. If you have any questions, uh, note them down below. If you have, uh, oh, do subscribe guys that will help me out a great deal subscribe and like this video that would greatly support me and yeah if you guys have any uh ideas or anything you would like me to do a video on i would definitely do it um, i'm thinking of doing a video on some of my tech accessories that i use majority of the time uh for my work or for just normal purposes as well so i'll be going through that in the next video so that's tech or and accessories that i use uh, so keep an eye out for that video uh, thank you guys for checking out this video do say hi introduce yourself i you know i'd like to know uh, other youtubers out there and have a fantastic week guys uh, keep an eye out for my next video and take care bye see ya